you now if you ask your dad to get some in. So leave your mummy's loving arms, there's no way you can win. You'll be victim of your vocal charm, so get some in. The rap's got two years of your life, now isn't that a sin? There's only one way to get out, and that's to get some in. There she is, my gypsy queen, sitting in her caravan. Drop dead. <laughs> Tell me what wonderful secrets your crystal ball has foretold, my proud Romany beauty. Oh, shut your kid. <laughs> There's something upsetting you, Alice. Yes, this bogotch. Look at it. You have to be a contortionist to sit at the back of this table. When you go to bed, wardrobe door keeps flying open and catching you one. Sink's no bigger than a saucer. And what's the first thing you see when you come through the door? The flaming cars, eh? But that's what the curtain is for. Privacy. Privacy? You sounded like hailstorm last night. Oh, but it's so <laughs> compact. It's so cosy. <laughs> I'll have a bet with you, Alice. I bet you that by the time I've got through this course, you will hardly be able to tear yourself away from this place. No. I'll be wedged behind this stinking table. <laughs> well, let me put it another way. This is purely a temporary arrangement for the time being. Now, let me explain this to you. <laughs> What's that? Oh, tilting! I told you there weren't enough bricks propping up this end. Well, I'll get you some more bricks. And in the meantime, I suppose we rock ourselves to death. Now, let me explain this to you. You see, it's purely a matter of... Equilibrium! See? <laughs> now, what else was I going to explain? You were saying that this were only a temporary dump. Oh, yes, don't you see? But when I pass through this course as a fully trained medic, the world is our oyster. I hate oysters. <laughs> Cockle, then. Look, it is a well-known fact, Alice, that medics always get the best married quarters. Always! Because they are the clean people. They are sterile. Well, at least you won't have any trouble in that department. Now, don't go on about that. You know what I mean. God blimey, medics live like kings. Do you know, there is a corporal medic from Solihull living in two complete floors of the Taj Mahal. What's that? You know, the Indian Palace, Alice. The, the, the one you had on your biscuit tin lid. You know, the one with a big dome and a swimming pool in the front garden. A corporal? Get off. Oh. So that, that is officer's mess. No, not in the medics. No, in the medics, it is the red carpet treatment all the way. That is why I chose it. Why don't you just own up for once? The offloaded into medic, cos Raid, I wouldn't have you. It's like the rest of his life. Second best all the time. You call this second best? <laughs> Don't despair, Alice. There is a golden light at the end of our tunnel. No. When I pass through this course, we will be the chosen people. You have to be Jewish. Or a medic. And that's another thing. You keep saying when I pass. So? Well, you won't. You're too thick. Me? Thick? I'll have you know that I have an IQ of 6,954. <laughs> That makes me above normal. Yes. <laughs> so I have got the brains to pass this course with flying colours. <laughs> and that's a promise. All right. I'll make you a promise then. Oh, that is what a loving relationship is all about. The perfect marriage, Alice. What is your loving promise to me? If you don't pass, so help me, I'm leaving! <laughs> you know what? 
the greater tuberosity means. Who? The greater tuberosity. Oh, yeah. Uh, tuber. Uh, tuber. Oh, yeah, it's that great big umpire thing they have in brass bands, isn't it? Of course it isn't. <laughs> well, don't ask if you know. I don't. But I do know it's got something to do with the muscles of the shoulder and the upper, upper arm. I, I, I really do think we ought to get it right for tomorrow. Look, Matthew, it's no good burying your head in books. The best way to learn about things is an actual life, isn't it? Down to earth, but terribly true. Right, then come over here <laughs> and observe the muscles of the shoulder and the upper arm in real life. Right, right. Now, in my hands, I have a long stick with a mirror on it, right? Yes. Now, by using the muscles of the shoulder and the upper arm, I am poking this stick out the window, right? <laughs> Flexion and tension, yes. All that, yeah, yeah. Now, by doing this, I am using the muscles of the shoulder and the upper arm in the hopes of catching a glimpse of some stark naked wafts in their compound. Oh, really? <laughs> Still too flaming short. <laughs> Hello, chaps. God, it was hell in that operating theatre tonight. <laughs> They're just kids, you know, shot to pieces by the Hun. I'd patch them up and get them back in the air. Oh, God, when will this damned war end? <laughs> when we get demobbed. These healing hands of a surgeon. Surgeon. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. All right then. Hey, Bruce, not back from the nappy with the pies yet? No, he's been gone ages. <laughs> what on earth's the matter, Bruce? The big wife corporal has put some matter. <laughs> There's a lot of the Rock Hudson in you, Bruce. Don't joke. She tried to drag me up an alley. If my epaulette hadn't given way, I'd have been a goner. Well, as long as she didn't get your meat pies. <laughs> no. There you are. Terrific. Thank you. Oh, nice. Well, didn't you get yourself one? After that lecture on hygiene today, you won't get me near another meat pie. Why? Contaminated meat. Hey. <laughs> Caused by lack of hygiene in the part of the Packers. Oh, come on. Surely they wash their hands. Oh, aye. But does every single one of them wash his hands enough? It only takes one dirty fingernail to pass on umpteen infectious diseases. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Thanks a bundle. Don't mention it. <laughs> I'm not sure about you and medical training, Bruce. It's like giving an alcoholic a job in a distillery. <laughs> Still, full marks to you for getting the point of the lecture. Well, you don't have to be clever to realise that we're surrounded on all sides by illnesses, diseases, infections. The impossible part is learning what they're all called. Difficult, Bruce, but not impossible. Impossible. I'm with you there, Bruce. I mean, all these technical names, it's like learning a foreign language, isn't it? I'm too old to learn a foreign language. Oh, come on. Look, once you've got the basic bricks of any new subject in your head, then you've got over the difficult bit. That's just about your mark, isn't it, eh? Playing with bricks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've done something that'll cheer you up. What? Corporal Marsh. <laughs> How'd you like a smack round the head? <laughs> now, look, listen. You're worried about how you're going to get on. Well, how's a great ignorant twerp like Marsh going to get on? Yeah. Yeah, true, he's a qualified pudding head, isn't he? <laughs> you know, he's not even as bright as my Uncle Hamish. And my Uncle Hamish keeps buying bones for this invisible dog. <laughs> well, I shan't be sorry to see that flipping flipper fall flat on his flipping face. <laughs> and he flipping well will, I know he will. Yeah. All we've got to do is watch him and laugh our socks off. <laughs> oh, I feel flipping better now. <laughs> I feel hungry and all. I'm going to eat more meat pie. I warned you. No, who cares? Anyway. Hang on, it says here, untouched by human hands. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> Smashing. Oh. All right, maybe humans haven't touched them, but you can get some really hideous diseases from dirty machinery. <laughs> Two 
Stand by your desks! Stand by your Lily. Pardon, Corporal? Do your buttons up. Any head pain, Smith? No, Corporal. Well, you ought to have, because the man behind is standing on your hair. Get it cut. All of you get your hair cut. Brace up! This might be trade training, but it will not be a sloppy trade training while I'm about. Right, sit to attention! <laughs> Done your own work, Nance? Yes, Corporal. <laughs> you? It took me ten minutes, piece of duff. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Officer President! Good morning, sir. Morning, sit down. Excuse me, sir. How tall are you, sir? Five ten. Why? Oh, it must be the way you hold yourself, sir. You look well over six feet to me, sir. <laughs> I assume you failed to do last night's private study. Me, sir? No, sir. I did it, sir. We'll see. Bloody right, we will. Sit down. <laughs> right. M of S and U A. <laughs> Muscles of the shoulder and upper arm. Oh, <laughs> Name, origin, insertion. Well, obviously we start with name. You. Lakey, sir. <laughs> Not your name, the name of a muscle in the shoulder and upper arm. Uh, 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 this one begins with D, sir. That's it, D, sir. Oh, that's wonderful. I must write that down. <laughs> D what? You've got me there, sir. <laughs> You're an idle airman, Corporal. I've got his name, sir. Don't you worry, sir. You. <coughs> Delta, sir. Toyd. That begins with T. Deltoid. Oh, yeah, you've got it, sir. <laughs> I know I've got it. You haven't no, have you? I've got his name as well, sir. That's Freya Smith, sir. You with the spectacles. Lily. E-Y. Lily E-Y. Muscles of the shoulder and the upper arm, if you please. Um, the, the, the deltoid, sir. Oh, you've got that one. Um, the, the biceps and the triceps. Oh, yes. So, at this level of study, these three major muscles will suffice. I doubt very much whether it occur to anyone to interest himself with any of the others. I know a couple more, sir. Which are? The teres major and the teres minor, sir. Good. Well done. Ha! <laughs> Who said that? I did, sir. Why? Well, if you're going to learn the names of the muscles of the shoulder and the upper arm, sir, you might as well learn all of them. And I suppose you have. I think so, sir. Well, please enlighten us. We'd all love to hear you. Yes, sir. <coughs> Wait for it. <laughs> the deltoid, biceps, triceps, teres major, teres minor, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, subcapularis, caracabrachialis, brachialis anticus, and the epitrochleo anconius, sir. <laughs> through the lecture at the pace of a debilitated snail, <laughs> Corporal Marsh accepted, it is now time for you to plop through the culinary delights of the cookhouse. Room, room, chum. Good morning. Uh, allow me, sir. Allow me, sir. <laughs> How could he have learned all that? How could he? The rotten beast must have had a crib of some sort. He didn't. I was watching him. Well, that puts a cap in it. It's bad enough that Marsh lives and breathes at all. Now we find out he's brilliant. Right. It's too much to bear. But we all know he's stupid. Now, there's something wrong somewhere. What's the matter somewhere, Nance? Lost one of your lace ankies? <laughs> well, actually, Corporal... Oh, actually. Yes, actually. What, actually? Well, we were just a little bit surprised the way you knew the names of all those muscles. Why? Because you're a... <laughs> because I'm a what? Well, an ordinary bloke like us. Don't be ridiculous. There's no comparison. Firstly, I am a corporal. 
Secondly, I am not a razor-carrying Edwardian thug like you. <laughs> Thirdly, I'm not a puff in pervert like you. Fourthly, I do not wear stupid glasses like you. And fifthly, I'm not an airy porridge gobbler like you. <laughs> do you really want to know how I remembered all that? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Put it down to a little word beginning with J. What's that, Corporal? Genius, puff house! Genius! <laughs> Come on, move your fat behind. Dinner? Where's me dinner? Now get it on your head if you talk to me like On the that. table, Alice. I want it on the table. <laughs> there! <laughs> what do you call this? Spam and baked beans. It's cold! That's because it's not cooked. Look, I expect hot dinner when I've had a hard morning studying. And I expect a stove that don't gas me every time I try to use it. Well, don't moan. I'll get it fixed. No need. I've already reported it to squadron leader Baker. You've done what? How many times have I told you that you must go through channels to talk to officers? And anyway, officers are above gas stoves. Oh! Frightened of seeing him, are you? In his bad books already. <laughs> I might tell you that he virtually looks on me as an equal doctor already. Rubbish. <laughs> Star pupil, that's me. The day I see you sparkle at anything, I'll hang out the flags. God, it's like mountain climbing in here. <laughs> oh, squadron leader Baker. How pleasurable. Mrs. Marsh, Corporal. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> I won't come any further. Seesaws make me sick. <laughs> Just to say that I put you down as a gas leak uh, and a bottle will be coming this afternoon to fix it. Thank you very much, Squadron Leader Good. Baker. Oh, by the way, Squadron Leader Baker. Yes? Just a wife wanting to know, how's Hubby doing on the course so far? Oh, excellently well. You what? Yes, he seems way ahead of the others. Good day to you. I don't know what to say, Percy. Really? I'm sorry. Kindly remove your hand from the muscles of the shoulder and the upper arm. <laughs> oh, don't be like that, love. Love? Oh, yes, it's love now, isn't it? Now you've discovered that I am a medical boffin. It was all talk about divorce yesterday, wasn't it? No, of course not. Well, all right. I've never been one to bear a grudge. Only no more talk of divorce. Never. I promise, Percy. In that case, complete mutual trust is re-established. Complete mutual trust. Only I'll have that in writing, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, he's here. What are you doing here so early? Let you don't start till 1500. Had something to do. What was that? Put a bomb under Marsh's desk. No. Nope. <laughs> Work out how he could possibly know the names of all those muscles. I was wrong, Matthew. He did cheat. And I know how he did it. How? <laughs> Let's reconstruct the crime, shall we? Oh, now, Bruce, you be squadron leader Baker. I can't do an English accent. <laughs> But you don't have to say anything. Just stand where he stood this morning. Yeah. Right, now. Marsh was sitting here, correct? Yeah. Incorrect. When he answered the question, he was standing up. Golly, you sound just like a tech. Do I? <laughs> All he's proved so far is that Marsh was standing up. I hadn't finished. Oh, sorry, Inspector. Right, now, Jakey, sit here and tell me what you can see. <coughs> Squadron leader Lecky. Mm -hmm. The wall. Mm -hmm. Blackboard. Mm -hmm. The desk. Correct. My parents mm -hmm. once invited Agatha Christie to tea at the vicarage, you know. Yeah, what happened? She never came. <laughs> Matthew. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Now, Jakey, stand up and oh. tell me what you can see now. Same as before. Really? Oh, a bit of bookshelf. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Bruce. A bit of bookshop on which are several volumes of Human Anatomy, The Crib, Matthew, The Crib. Crumbs, The Crib. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Oh, uh, simple deduction, really. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Uh, how could you read closed books? <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, he must have left one open. There you are, on the shelf, like that. We'd have noticed. Uh, would we? Would we? I suggest we were too busy watching Marsh to notice anything else. Ken's right, you know. I know. 
So all Marsh did was stand here, look over squadron leader Baker's shoulder, and simply read... With his binoculars. What? <laughs> Well, look, he can't just be that clever. Yeah. There's a trick to it somewhere, I know there is. Hello, Pinheads. Learn the names of the muscles yet? Oh, Officer President! Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. I hope you had a very pleasant luncheon for dinner, sir. Yes, thank you. Sit down. Now, so after afternoon, we're going to move on to the physiology of the muscles. Not so much what the muscles are called, but how they function. You understand the difference? I do, sir. Good. Now, watch. <laughs> now, I, uh... Oh, dear, it's that sea of blank faces again. <laughs> Let's try it another way. Come over to you, please, Corporal. I want you to be the most intelligent. <laughs> now, when I pick the bucket up again, I want you... Remembering that we're talking about physiology, to tell the rest of the class, in your own words, what you think is going on. OK? Yes, sir. Right. <coughs> Squadron Leader Baker has just picked up the fire bucket, <laughs> sir. No, look, what I'm trying Squadron to... Squadron Leader Baker has just put the fire bucket down again, <laughs> sir. No, no, Corporal. What is happening when I pick up the bucket? It is leaving the desk, sir. <laughs> Corporal, think of the muscles of the shoulder and upper arm. Ah, oh, yes, the muscles of the shoulder and the upper arm. Ah, oh, the deltoid, biceps, triceps, teres major, teres minor, supraspinatus... Not their names, how they work. Oh. Now, let's try it again. I pick the bucket up and... It is heavy, sir. <laughs> Look, it doesn't have to be a bucket. It can be anything. A, a cigarette. There you are, a cigarette. A woodbine, sir? Yes, thank you. That'll do. Right, now observe. Well... Light, sir. <laughs> Look, ignore the cigarette. Ignore the bucket. Look there. Ah, yes, sir. The muscles of the shoulder and the upper arm are the deltoid biceps triceps. What are you, a bloody parrot? <laughs> well, I have learned the name, sir. It's a gift, sir. I've always been very good at remembering names, sir. Do you know, I could reel off every single piece of equipment that an airman is issued with, sir. That's what I said. You're just a parrot. When it comes to application, you haven't got the faintest idea, have you? With all due respect, sir, there's not a parrot been born on this earth who knows the names of the muscles of the shoulder and the upper arm, sir. <laughs> all you ever get from them is pretty Polly and ring a ding a bell, sir. Isn't it, sir? <laughs> Sit down. Yes, sir. Pretty Polly, pretty Polly. <laughs> Look, has anyone the faintest idea what I'm trying to demonstrate? Um, I, I'm not sure, sir, but I think you're talking about flexion and tension. Good Lord. Ignore him, sir. He's a religious fanatic. <laughs> I don't care. He happens to be right. Come out here, Alan. Go on, Matthew. Go on. I should uh, watch this, Corporal. Flexion and tension. Yes, sir. I flex my elbow by tensing the muscles of the upper arm. Yes, sir. One muscle pulls the bucket up and... The, and... the other one pulls the bucket down, sir. Yes. Now, let's move this on a bit and suppose that one of the muscles is out of action. The... The, the, the biceps, sir. Good. Yes. Let's say that a damn great chunk of shrapnel has torn through the tendon here. Torn through the tendon? Yes. Ripping the muscle away from the bone. Ripping. Sir. Yes. Blood everywhere. Blood. Yes, but ignore that. What can't I do with my lower arm? Excuse me, sir. Yes? Would you mind holding my glasses? It's time for National Service Max to get something. They'll tell you now if you ask for Max to get something. So leave your mountain laughing on, there's no way you can win. Your victim of your ball will start to get something. So you're in the RAF. Sweat and tears and smoke will come to rest your head. You'll be the lowest form of life. You'll wish that you were dead. The rap for two years of your life now is 